everybody, welcome home. I'm Lisa Quinn. This week's makeover is for Ron, a divorced father of two whose master bedroom is tragically lost in the 1980s. You remember Miami Vice? Where's Crockett and Tubbs when you need them? Let's meet Ron now and talk about his problem room. What am I into now? Well, you know, post-divorce, midlife crisis, I got involved with building a replica Cobra. So that was my uh, midlife crisis kind of thing. You'll see that uh, there's photographs and, and awards from building the car. Then I also still like to cycle and play golf. Wow, it's so big. I never get rooms this big, especially in the city. What is it that you like about the room? It's big. Yeah, I like that too. What is it that you don't like about the room? Uh, the color, you, as you can see, it's just basically white. I'm not very artistic, mm. so I leave everything white. Yeah, I got you. You got a pink accent wall in there too. We can get rid of that maybe? Yeah, that was done when I was married. Mm -hmm. That was our uh, first attempt at gotcha. getting some color. No, no, no. I like bringing a little bit of color into the room, but maybe we can just do something a little, I don't know, a, a little more rich looking yeah. throughout the room. Yeah. Um, as far as the furniture pieces, are you um, attached to any of them? Would you care if we None. replaced anything? Okay. You could place everything. All right, good. Uh, this is stuff that we've had uh, when I was first married, mm -hmm. and that was a long time ago. And now I've got a girlfriend, and she doesn't yeah, like the of course old not. furniture. No, you got to give an update. Sure. I understand. So I see that there's a lot of different uses in this room. To me, it looks like you've got a sleeping area, a work area, entertainment area, workout area and even a couple of holes of golf in here. All right, so it looks like to me we're going to obviously keep the mattress, but we're probably gonna get rid of the bed, maybe bring in some new storage, and still maintain a little bit of an office area. You're just checking on a laptop. You're not, right. you don't need a full on office, right? No, no. And keep the golf stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, Ron, I am gonna let you go. Okay. And then we're gonna talk about our plan of action. So Great. get out of here. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, Ron. The way I would like to see the room is more of a man cave. A little bit more masculine, maybe some darker furniture colors, get rid of this white stuff. Uh, some nice colors on the wall, and uh, maybe uh, more stuff with uh, cars on it, just, just to you know, identify with what I kind of do right now. And uh, just a better feeling for my girlfriend as well, so she feels more welcome over here. I'm going to repeat it. I've never been in a room this big. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this space. It's fantastic. There's so much elbow room in here. And the fact that he does want a couple of different purposes in this room is going to be great because we've got plenty of room. I love the golf stuff. I think that's hilarious. Maybe we can even run with a theme like that inside the room. We'll keep the golf. We'll... Um, hopefully get a new TV before we're done here because that TV is really big and old and uh, as is a lot of this stuff. I, I think that those kind of 1980s uh, glossy uh, furniture, you know, was a, it was, a, was a nice thing 30 years ago. So we're going to give him an updated look. And as I always do, I think I'll probably replace those Venetian blinds. Not only are they, you know, the skinny metal kinds that I don't like, but they're mauve, which is so Miami Vice, which had its time, but that time's not now. So we're gonna pull all the furniture together, get uh, Moondance painting to come in and paint. I think what we're gonna do is something a little more masculine, a little more rich than the white with the pastel pink wall. Bring in something uh, warm that will sort of unify this whole space. We've got a whole lot of crazy stuff going on in here and we want it to be more soothing on the eye because it's a bedroom after all. So I guess we get started pulling stuff off the walls now. There's a lot of stuff, we're gonna be busy. <laughs> We should use all these. We should use, he loves cars. And he's got some really cool artwork of cars. And so instead of sitting these on the floor, we should, they should be up on the wall. We certainly would not be getting anywhere without the big brawny handsome help from Junk King today. They're taking a lot of stuff out of the room, thankfully for us. It's not like he knew where any of this stuff was anyway, right? <sighs> It's a phone. <laughs> it's a car phone. <laughs> We're running with a the theme here today. 